I hate going out and spending money and then going, oh, I shouldn't have done it. Good morning, modern stutters. In one of our videos, I'll put a link to that video right here, I was installing the core bell in the ledger to our concrete desk project build that we've been working on. And while I was screwing the core bell to the wall, my drill literally broke in my hands. So look at that. Came right apart. So, I had to go and get a new drill. I should have done this a while ago. When we were building the outdoor kitchen, I dropped my Matco impact driver, and that shattered and broke. This one, though, I was just using it in my hand, and it broke. I will say, we had a good run with it. I've had this probably since 2012, 2013. So we've had four years out of it. I can't complain too much, but when you're using a tool and it just breaks in your hand for no reason, unexpectedly, it doesn't make you happy. I bought the DeWalt five-piece 20-volt lithium-ion set. We got a hammer drill, impact driver, flashlight, skill saw, and sawzall. All right, if you want to be technical, circular saw and reciprocating saw because those skill saws are name brand and so is Sawzall. We've been doing a lot of tool review videos lately on our channel for all the modern steaders and that got me thinking. We have a ton of DeWalt tools. We've had them for years. We've had them since like 04. Some of them before, like in 99 I got them. They're not battery operated, but they're was before battery operated tools really were anything good. They're all corded ones, but you know what? I've had great success with them. So we said, why not go with the DeWalt? We got a great price on this one. <clears throat> great combo kit. And they, they have so much you can do now. I don't want to be like a salesman for DeWalt, but there's so many different tools that they make that take the same batteries. You got the chop saw, you got the table saw, you got hand planers, you got vacuums, you got a chainsaw. It goes on and on and on. So once you buy a kit of tools and you got so many batteries, you can just start buying the tools without a charger and without batteries. And you can get them pretty inexpensive that way. So let's open up the kit and see what we have. They seem pretty proud that this was made in the USA with global materials. It's all over the place. Let's take it out and see what we got going on. Pretty excited to get a new tool kit. I would definitely say they're proud that they are made in the USA. I will say I like the bag. It comes with a nice shoulder strap going from job site to job site or working on projects around the homestead. It's nice to have one bag to throw all your tools in. Opens up nice. What do we have inside? Owner's manuals. Whole lot of owner's manuals. Do not throw away. Oh. This, I bet you, is our blade. Yep. Six and a half inch. All bubble wrapped. There's the reciprocating saw. Again, all over it marked, made in the USA. It's got good weight to it. It's heavy, but a heavy tool means it's built to last. Metal, plastic. Unlocked, you can pull the trigger. Locked, you can't pull it. Nice. Quick release. For the blade, that's always very handy. I like that. Impact driver. I'll put the battery in it in a minute while it's, right now it's charging. Impact drivers are nice. They drive a screw fast and they'll actually tighten the board up. We'll use this in a minute, but lightweight, small and compact. Ooh. It's got the little hook on it. That's great for when you're climbing a ladder. You can hang it in your pocket. Pluto, you don't look very excited over there. Come on, we're getting some new tools. A little flashlight. To me, when they do this, 
they're just trying to say they give you more tools. I guess we'll find out how good the flashlight is. But I bet it works and with the batteries we got it should last a while. You can, it'll stay in place. Different selections for angles. I like how it's got a thing to hang it. That'll be convenient. It's LED so we don't have to worry about breaking the bulb at least. We have our hammer drill. Definitely a heavy drill. Feels good in the hand. It came with, I thought I saw, right here, which is nice. That's why if you want to, when you're hammering on something, you can have two hands on it. You don't have to worry about breaking your wrist with it snapping you. I like that. And it's nice because it's easy on and off. I like that a lot. I like the easy off handle a lot. Um, I have a Milwaukee 90 degree angle drill, corded one. And that is not an easy on and off handle. When you go to put it in the case, you can't have the handle on it. So I just don't understand that. This is nice and convenient when you need it. It'll be in your bag. When you don't, it's easy to take it on and off. Good thinking, DeWalt. Let's take a look at the drill. We got regular drilling, got screw selection, and then we got the hammer pot for hammer drilling. That works really handy for drilling in concrete. And then we have our clutch. So we can set the torque we want it to go to and stop. We have a speed selector. One, two, and three. Most drills just have a one and a two. So that'll be nice. That chuck seems heavy duty. Be interesting to see if this one backs off like the porta cable did. This is the tool I was most excited for in the kit, other than the drills. I need the drills, <clears throat> but I've never had a good battery operated skill saw. Boom, look at that. That is a beast. I like it. I was just wondering, we gotta put the blade on and it comes with an Allen key right here. Looks like it's got a nice holder for it. You just gotta get it out first. It's tight, which is a good thing. Thanks, DeWalt. I like that. It's tight, it's a pain to get out, but that means we won't lose it. Warning, uh oh. To guard against injuries, observe the following. Read your safety manual. Yeah, we'll get right on that. All right, on the circular saw, we have our guide. We have our lock and unlock for the depth of how deep we can cut. Right here, loosen it up. And we can cut different angles up to a 50 degree. That's nice. It looks like you can buy a guide for it. It's got a hole, a threaded hole for a screw, and it's got the slot for the guide. But I am not seeing that in the box. And it did say online, accessories sold separately. So I am not surprised there. That would be nice to have. All right, let's put the blade on this. Use the skill saw right here on the top, a little nub. You press that down, that's going to make it lock. So it is backwards. You go to the right to loosen it, and the left to tighten it. This 
discard this washer. We don't want that. And grab our blade. So a corded skill saw is seven and a quarter inches long, wide or diameter for a blade. This is a six and a half inch blade. There we go. Had to find the right groove for that top little lever to push down into and lock in place. Tighten it up. There. Put the Allen key back in place so we don't lose it. One of the biggest reasons I chose this kit, other than the tools, was it comes with two. The other one's on the charger, I'll show you that in a minute. It comes with two of the bigger batteries. It's not the biggest batteries they make, they make a whole bunch of batteries. This one and the other one I have are both, let's see if I can show it to you. I don't know if you can read it on there. They're both, I don't think it'll show up, but they are both three amp hour batteries. Most of the time when you get a kit, you either get two little batteries or a bigger battery and a little one. So I was very impressed that I had the two big batteries. Some of the DeWalt kits I've seen and was looking at had two small batteries. Didn't want that. They do make a four amp hour battery and bigger. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for sales and I'd like to get some four amp hour ones. Two of them would be nice. But a great way to start the kit is with a good battery. Let me show you the charger. The other battery is another 3 amp hour battery. Blinking red means it's charging. Solid red means it's charged. And I don't know what the other one is going to do. It's going to stay solid and blink, a funky display, and it means it's too cold. That might seem kind of odd that your batteries can be too cold or too hot. But it's true, I'm building a house this year outside. It's been a very cold winter. And our batteries freeze up on us and either that means the tool won't work or when we go to put them on the charger, they won't charge because they're cold. Same thing in the summertime. If you overheat your batteries, they won't charge. You have to let them cool down. The good thing about the winter time, if there's a heater around, stick your battery in front of a heater, warm it up, you can charge it or warm it up and you can use it. It seems odd. But it's true, even with our cameras, I can't take my camera outside for very long in the winter time. The battery dies very fast, or we had it happen earlier this year, the camera just goes nuts and it starts doing errors and it won't work. So batteries don't like the cold, electronics don't like the cold. Just one thing to keep in mind. Now that one of the batteries are charged, let's try some of these tools out. All right, so we gotta push down. All these tools are brushless, which means less maintenance, which is good. One other thing I wanted to show you on the batteries, which I think is pretty neat. They have a tester on them. Full charge, nice. That comes in very handy when you're working. Before you go up a ladder, if you wanna know if your tool's about to die on you, you can check it. Let's see if you can check them while they're on. Yep, still works. Good to know. For some reason, I don't know why, battery operated skill saws, when you stop them, the blade comes to a stop. Which I don't know if is a good thing or a bad thing, 100%, but just off the top of my head, I'm thinking that it's a good thing. If you're cutting something and you're putting it down, the blade stop by the time you take the saw out and put it on the ground. If for some reason you hit your finger or nick something you shouldn't, you put your finger off the trigger, it's going to stop right away. So for safety wise, I think it's going to be a good thing. I don't know. I'll let you know after we use the tools more. Let's see. Put it on the impact driver. You can, I don't know if it's going to make the noise right now. No. Nope. Three lights, that's bright. Oh wow, that'll be nice. Usually, they only have one right at the bottom. So three is gonna be really nice. Forward, reverse. The kit does not come with any drivers, but it said no accessories, so I wasn't even sure if it was gonna come with a blade for the skill saw, but it does. Let's try out the hammer drill just quickly. We could go in depth with trying out all the tools. 
When not in this video, I'm gonna try out the skill saw in a minute, but I'm not gonna go through all the tools. We'll be using them soon enough. We'll be using all the tools in the videos coming up anyways, especially during our concrete desk project. All right, so this one has the one light. Forward reverse. It's a lot more balanced with a big battery on there. Without the battery, it's very top heavy. That's gonna be a good fit. Let's check out the light. Curious to see. Ooh, that's pretty bright. On and off, okay, so there's no adjusting it for brightness, but that's bright. Then we can hang it. And on that battery, that light I bet you will last for hours. So on, off. That's nice. I might have to eat my words on the flashlight. This might come in pretty handy. Let's grab the Sawzall. Trigger's locked, I forgot. Ooh. Definitely heavy, it's got some good weight. It's balanced out evenly with the battery on the back. Feels good in the hand. It's loud, but that's to be expected. I don't have anything to cut with this, but I do have some boards we need to cut for our desk project anyways. Let's get them ripped down with the skill saw. That'll work. Help keep us a little bit organized. We've got another kit. I've had it for a while. You never know when you're gonna need a new one. Let's stick that on this side. Thank you. Put all of our tools in here and see how it closes. Figaro, what do you think? Do you like it? Get the battery, put the battery pack in there, close it up. Oh, plenty of room. Look at that. You can even put a few more things in there. I like that, that'll come in handy. And then we also have pouches on the side. I like it. Check the bottom out. Plastic slides. Let me show you that. You might think, you might think these plastic slides are just nah, overrated, kind of, why would you do it? I'm just talking from experience here. I'm impressed with everything DeWalt has done. It's not a paid video or anything. If they want to sponsor the channel, come on on. DeWalt will bring you on as a sponsor. Sounds good. but. This is nice because if you're working somewhere, if you're a contractor, you're throwing stuff in and out of your truck constantly, your van, whatever. I know I am. Throwing it in and out of my truck, it's sliding around on my bed. When I get to a job, I just take it, rest it somewhere. With it being hard plastic slides, it's gonna slide around, which isn't the best, but it's not gonna wear a hole in my bag. That's why I like that. That's not gonna wear out in about two weeks. That's gonna last. I'm really impressed, and so far I am glad I spent the extra money on the DeWalt's. Fingers crossed. All right, let's get the skill saw out and cut up some boards. All I have to say is, DeWalt, I hope you're ready for this. This isn't just the regular test. This is a modern homesteader true test. We're using real rough sawn lumber here. One inch thick. This isn't no plywood half inch junk. Let's see if we can cut some real wood with this thing. Hold up. Wait a minute. If we're going to be doing a real test here, we need a real apron. This is going to put me in the spirit. Yeah, we got our good manly leather apron on. Yep. All right. Now I'm ready, let's cut this. All right, let's set our depth, because we can.
Here goes nothing. I must say, I'm pretty impressed so far. We're not just doing one cut though. We're not stopping there. We gotta cut like six of these. I hope it's got it in it. Now my old port cable saw, you could only get about two cuts into it. And then it was junk, the battery would just die. So we're putting this one to the test. <laughs> Board's pinching it. The board bound up on it a little bit. It's rough sawn lumber and it's wet still, so I'm not surprised, but it handled that well. Let's get going. Not done yet. I'm happy so far, mister. Yep. <sighs> Putting a smile on my face. That's a good thing. Nothing worse than when you spend a bunch of money on something and then it doesn't hold up to your expectations. That's good. <laughs> That was my bad. The saw did a good job. Let's go grab another board. All right, so that's what? Four cuts so far in that battery. We're gonna have four more anyways. Let's see how she holds up. All right, here goes nothing. Keep at it. The big square comes in handy. like nothing. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I just don't know. I don't know what else to say. You're seeing it. My corner cable wouldn't have done that. It would have been dead. Second cut. This is going to be a game changer on our homestead. Whew. Think of all the projects we can build. <laughs> I'm going to be talking in my sleep tonight and Gina's not going to know what I'm talking about. Whew. Oh -ho. Yep. I'm happy. Still going strong. Last cut. All right, that was nine cuts. If it wasn't nine, I'm sorry. It was either eight or nine, but I'm pretty sure it was nine cuts. Let's check the battery. And that was real one inch thick wood. That's not no three quarter inch thick board or plywood. So let's see, let's see. What, we didn't even use a third of that battery? It's showing three bars still. What? No way. 
I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I'm happy. I feel good about my purchase, which is a good thing. I hate going out and spending money and then going, oh, I shouldn't have done it. Spending some money in the first place is hard, but when you spend it and the stuff turns out to be undesirable, it's even worse. So I'm happy with my purchase. We're going to keep putting it through its paces, so keep watching our channels. You want to see how they all hold up. We'll be working more on our concrete desk project here in the next couple of videos. We'll be building some great projects from here on out with all of our new DeWalt tools. Probably be getting some more in the future. You know what else I didn't show you? These boards aren't just one inch thick, but they are also eight and a half inches wide. Good golly, Miss Molly. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.